Greetings from ClassPoint. I'm Michael from Inkno, and in this video, I'll introduce you to the slide drawing activity. In this example, I have a quadratic equation and want my students to draw its graph. Traditionally, I could only pick one or two students to do this on the classroom whiteboard, but now with ClassPoint, every student can participate. To turn this slide into a question, I'll click here to add the slide drawing button. In the properties, I'd like to check this option to hide my students' names when their submissions are shown. This way, they won't feel bad if they've made a mistake. In addition, I'll automatically minimize the result window so my students can't see each other's submissions. When I click the question button during the slideshow, it will launch the question and immediately minimize the result window. From the In Progress button state, I can clearly see how many students have submitted their answers along with the timer. Let's look at the student side. They've received the slide and can now open it. We've provided a few pens and an eraser for them to draw digitally on the slide. They can use any device to draw, although a touchscreen such as an iPad is handier. Once finished, click Submit. Now that we've collected some responses, let me click on the button again to open the question dialog. For slide drawing activities, I like to view the student submissions in the light box view because it's easier for me to compare their drawings. Notice that although my students' names are not shown here, they're still recorded for review purposes. To see their names, simply uncheck this box and click View Responses. Now their names are shown and I can tell who needs help in understanding the concept. And this is how you can use the slide drawing activity in ClassPoint. For more instruction videos like this, please head to classpoint.io resources.